Following the installation of new piping, a leak test should be performed to verify that the mechanical integrity of the pipe is sound. This leak test should take place before the trench has been completely backfilled. Ideally, the leak test will be performed with the pipe only partially covered to its midpoint so any leakage can be observed and repaired. By definition, leakage is the volume of water that must be added to the full pipeline to maintain a specified test pressure within a 5 pound per square inch range. All of the air must be removed from the pipeline prior to conducting the pressure test. The acceptable leakage for the length of pipe and the type of joints are listed in the AWWA standard series C600. The following are the basic steps involved in performing both a pressure test and a leak test simultaneously on newly installed pipe. First, if a thrust block has been installed, allow at least five days for the concrete to cure. Connect a positive displacement pump and make up water reservoir to the system along with a pressure gauge and a method for measuring the amount of water pumped. Close all necessary isolation valves to isolate the section of pipe being tested. Slowly fill the pipe with water while allowing the air to vent through valves, hydrants, and taps at high points in that section of pipe. And if chlorine tabs are being used for pipeline disinfection, special care has to be taken to ensure that the flow rate will not dislodge the calcium hypochlorite tablets. Begin raising system pressure with the positive displacement pump while bleeding any remaining air through the valves or vents at the high points. After completely filling the lines and bleeding all air, let the system stand for 24 hours at a pressure that is less than test pressure. The pressure specifications are listed in the applicable AWWA standard. Typically pipes are tested at either one and a half times the operating pressure or 150 PSI for a period of at least 30 minutes. Observe the pipe and fittings for visible leaks or movement of the pipe. Any fittings, valves, or joints that show leakage must be checked, adjusted, or repaired as required and a follow-up test must be conducted. After the system has been at test pressure for two hours, a leak test is conducted by measuring the amount of water that has to be pumped out of the makeup water reservoir and into the line to maintain the specified pressure. And the final step is to evaluate the amount of system leakage as compared to the maximum allowable leakage listed in the appropriate AWWA standard to determine if the leakage is satisfactory. There are three common methods used to measure the amount of makeup water used during a pressure and leak test. The first and the most preferred method is the use of a calibrated makeup water reservoir. Another method is the use of a calibrated positive displacement pump. And the third method is the use of a very accurate water meter, but this method is not recommended because it's not as accurate as the first two. If newly installed pipe fails a pressure test, the leak must be located and repaired. One way to determine if the leak is from a joint rather than a valve is to perform the same test the following day after leaving the line under normal pressure overnight. If the leakage is the same in the second test, the leak is probably in a valve or a service connection. If the leakage measured in the second test is greater than the first test, the leak is probably in a joint or is the result of a damaged pipe. A few common causes of a failed pressure test are listed below, and these include an isolation valve may be leaking by, dirt or other foreign material may have gotten between a gasket and the joint, a corporation stop may be leaking by, a valve may be experiencing excessive packing leakage, the test pump may be experiencing back leakage, and the section of pipe being tested may be too long or air may be trapped in the section of pipe being tested, a faulty test gauge may be to blame, the saturation time may be too short, and the saturation time should be at least 24 hours, and that's the period of time that the system sits under pressure before conducting the pressure test. Or there may be a crack in the pipe. <laughs>